Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In this part we are going over the UV unwrapping and texture painting in Blender. So let's start with UV unwrapping. UV unwrapping is a process of skinning your 3D object into 2D surface of texturing. The question is what does a UV map looks like? So guys, this is how the UV mappings looks like. We can go to the UV editing from here or we can split a new area Click here and choose UV Editor. In the viewport we have three dimensions, the X axis, the Y axis and the Z axis. This area called the 2D space. In this area we have just two dimensions, the Y axis and the X axis. We should place the UV mapping in this square. To get more resolution for the shape you need to scale it up. To get less resolution for the shape you need to make it smaller. Keep that in mind we can add many UV islands for one character. We can place many UV teals next to each other to give them different images but still act as one texture in the shader. Hit the N key, go to the slide bar and increase the UV islands number. For this tutorial guys we don't need to do that, we keep it simple as possible. Now we are ready to unwrapping the character. Maybe you ask yourself, what do you mean with unwrapping? Unwrapping means just taking the 3D surface and convert it into 2D coordinate system as you see in the picture. Well, this process involves create a UV map, select UV seams, cut UV seams and unwrap UV. Let's start with create a UV mapping. Make sure that you are in the UV editing. We need to move on and select the UV seams. We need to be careful guys when we are going to choose the UV seams. Keep that in mind we need to find the natural place for the seams to cut them later. We will try to hide these seams from the camera because when we are render the scene later we will be able to see the cuts and the texture. Let's go ahead and create the cuts for the body. In the edit mode hit 2 on the keyboard or click on this icon to switch to the edge select. For now we don't need to apply the mirror modifier. Hold shift select these edges go to UV mark seam from the back select this edge hold ctrl mouse left click and click on this one one more time hold ctrl and select new edges Go to UV, Mark Seam. I like to make a cut in the nose, just like that. Select these edges. Go to UV, Mark Seam. Select the loop around the ear. Go to UV, Mark Seam. I think you got it guys. We need to add a cut right there. One more time, select these edges, go to UV, Mark Seam. And one more time, add a cut right there and right there. If you mark seam the wrong edges and you want to clear them, select them again, go to UV, Clear Seam. As you see guys, it's the same process, I don't need to comment anything. I will be back again. When you are done, hit A to select everything and now we start to see the UVs on the left side. Hit A twice to deselect, as you see guys the UVs are disappeared. To see the UVs all the time, click on this icon. If you move the vertices in the 2D space, that doesn't mean that you move the vertices in the 3D space. Guys wake up! This section is just for 2D texturing, not for 3D editing. This is really important to understand. So go to UV, unwrap, unwrap, or hit U on the keyboard, 
unwrap. Now we need to apply the mirror modifier because we have the health of the head, the arm, etc, etc. Go to the mirror modifier, click here and click on apply. Once again, A to select everything, hit U, unwrap. Let's say we want to select the head only. Go to the face select, hit L to select everything. Now we can use the command G for grab, S for scale and R for rotate. If you are in the vertex select mode or edge select mode, it doesn't work. We talk about the islands and resolution in the video, but how you can see the resolution on your model. So I will show you that. Split a new area and change this editor into shader editor. From here we can add a new material for our character. Or we can click on this icon and choose new. It's the same, it's up to you. Click on add, texture, image texture. Connect the color with the base color and click on new. From here we can rename the image and from here we can change the resolution. The resolution it doesn't important right now, what we need is to change the type into UV grid and click on OK. As you see guys we can't see anything because we are in the solid mode. Hit Z on the keyboard and choose material preview or change it from here. As you see guys we need to minimize the distortion on the surface and to make the square perfect as possible. To make it easier to understand we can change the square number. Select the image and hit Ctrl T. You can play with the scale to find a good result for you. Up this point we don't need the shader editor. As you see guys we start to see the distortions better because the square are smaller. Ok man, how we can fix that? Alright, alright, I will show you. But first thing first we need to display the stretch. Click here and apply display stretch. The blue color mean no distortion at all which is good. As you see guys, it's a powerful tool to help us to understand where the distortions are. A to select everything and move the UVs away just like so. In the face select, hit L to select the head and bring it into the square. R for rotate. Hit T on the keyboard and select the relax tool. As you see guys, we can relax the mesh in a specific area. Or we can select the bunch tool and here we go. Keep that in mind we can change the strength for the brush with shift F. It's not necessary for me to fix the distortion right now in this tutorial because I want to keep it quickly as possible. I hope you get it guys, this one idea how to fix the mesh. The second idea is to cut new mark seams. Select these edges, go to UV, mark seam. In the face select, hit L to select the head only, hit U, unwrap. R for rotate, S for scale. But how we can fix that if we want more resolution around the mouth or specific area? Select these vertices, go to UV, pin. Attention guys, a pin will not be unwrapped again, but will stay in place on an unwrap operation. Let's go ahead and scale these vertices a bit, just like so. Hit L to select the head only, hit U, unwrap. Of course you can take your time to have more experience with these tools. As I said before, we need to keep all these UVs in this square. We can move them manually, or we can select everything, go to UV, back islands. As you see guys I need to add more mark seams in this area because the stretching. One last option and this is important in my eyes, A to select everything, UV, average island scale. Using the average island scale tool will scale each UV island so that they are all approximately the same scale. And this is really helpful. I want to show you the last tip that I used to create UVs. Select the ear, go to the side view, click on UV, 
Project From View. Well, Project From View takes the current view in the 3D view and flattens the mesh as it appears. Hit G for grab, S for scale, and here we go. So, we are ready to switch to texture pane. Click here and choose image editor. Also, we need to switch from the object mode into texture paint mode. The shortcut for that is Ctrl Tab. If you want to save time, just click on texture paint. Now we need to change the old material. I mean the UV grad material. Split a new window and go to the shader editor. You can click on the little X to remove this material and add a new one. From here, you can rename the material. Now go with Add, Texture, Image Texture. Connect the color with the base color and click on New. Type the resolution that you want. I'm gonna go for 2048. From here, we can change the color. When you are done, click on OK. Go ahead and close the shader editor. To see the image that we just created, click here and choose the image. When this brush selected, we can draw on the UVs or we can draw on the body direct. From here, we can pick a new color, go to this section and paint on the UVs. As you see guys, you see the effect on the 3D surface. Sometimes we can't draw from the image editor and that's because we need to change the view into paint. Okay, cool. How can I find the options for the brushes? You can click here and scroll the mouse wheel down, just like so, or hit N on the keyboard, go to the tool. From here, we can add a new material. And from here, we can change many brushes. Man, keep it simple, please. Okay, sorry. We need to add a color palette. Click on color palette and add a new one. Add a new color. Click on the plus button to save the color in your palette. Change the color and click on the plus button. You can use the minus button if you want to remove a color. If you want to make the base color for the body, you can pick the fill brush. Choose the color, click on the character and here we go. From here we can play with the radius or hit F on the keyboard. And from here we can play with the strength or hit shift F. Also, you can draw perfect lines. Go to stroke and choose line. I like to use this option a lot. I think it's easy to understand. Now we can draw perfect lines on the surface. To go back to the default brush, click here and choose space. From here, we can turn on the geometry. It's just like the mirror modifier. From here, we can choose one of these options or custom a new one. And these options are going to control the sensitivity of the brush. I like to use this one and this one a lot. To remove the new color, go to the fill brush, click here and here we go. If you don't have experience with colors, it's gonna be hard to pick the right colors for the skin. That's why I recommend to Google and search for skin color tone. And believe me, this step gonna make your life easier. If you want to use the same color that I used, I have done my character color palette. You can download it for free in the description below. In the object mode, grab the color palette reference and drop it there. Ctrl tab and switch to the texture paint again. Switch to material preview and start painting. So, if you get it, now we can pick an example for practicing. Select the eyes and switch to the texture paint. And as you see guys, we are not able to draw on the surface because we didn't have a UV mapping for the eyes. So, split a new area, go to the UV editor. In the edit mode, select this loop, go to UV, mark seam. Now you can apply the mirror modifier. A to select everything, hit U, unwrap. From here, go to the shader editor. Go with Shift A, Texture, Image Texture. Connect the color with the base color. From here we can rename the image. And from here we can choose the resolution. 
pick a new color and hit OK. When you are done, close the shader editor. Make sure that you are in the image editor. And of course, we can see the image because we need to select it from here. Switch to texture paint. We need to change the view into paint and here we go. Draw just like that. We can see anything because we just draw it on the back. I think this is the front. Yes, here we go. Make sure that your geometry on the X axis is on. Of course guys, you can drawing on the surface right now, but I want to show you something else. Make sure that you are in the texture paint mode. Hit tab to switch to the edit mode. Select these vertices and activate this icon. As you see, we are able to draw on the vertices that we have selected right now. Our geometry is on, but it doesn't work. Do you know why? Yes, exactly, because we didn't select the vertices on the nether side. In the edit mode, select this loop and this one, this one and this one, Switch to texture paint, select this icon, pick a new color and start drawing. And as you see, it works right now. One last time, select this one, this one, this one and this one, change the color and draw on the surface. In the edit mode, select the green area, Select the sensitivity for the brush, decrease the strength and start drawing just like that. Now we can use the smear brush to have the cool effect. When you are done, select the white color, decrease the strength and make some highlights right there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed with this character modeling tutorial series. In the next step, we are going over rigging in Blender. Until then, stay motivated on awesome. And remember, I will catch you soon.